Hello, sports card collectors and investors. I hope everybody is having an awesome day and ending their week strong. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about three hot cards in the marketplace uh, that are getting a lot of traction. Um, let me first say, though, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. We are closing in on 150 sports card investing, collectibles investing videos on this channel. New videos every single day, uh, diversification of content between various sports. So if you really want sports card investing content, another voice to listen to, I would be happy to, to provide that to you. Um, and we would really appreciate your subscription and we appreciate you watching. And please uh, don't hesitate to comment uh, below. I like to kind of mix it up with, with some of the viewership. Um, it's, it's been really fun, honestly. And it's nice to have hobby talk uh, and talk sports cards with everybody. So let's go ahead and dig into it today. So I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Um, so I am going to be using, for my three hot cards today, I'm gonna to be talking about three cards from Card Ladder. And for those that don't know, this is a new data tool that's come out over the last few weeks, last couple of weeks. Um, it was created by um, Josh, who runs Cardboard Chronicles. He's got a great YouTube channel. And then also, um, Chris and Christina with House of Jordans, their YouTube channel as well is fantastic and they have podcast. Um, but these guys are, you know, the one thing I really like about, about these folks is the, they really, really care about this stuff. I mean, you can tell they are, they're data freaks um, and they're, and, you know, they call them, they, they self-subscribe themselves as uh, data nerds. So I can say that. Um, but it shows in their work, it shows in their attitude and, and what they bring to the table. Um, just their eagerness to advance the hobby, bring something you know, new and different uh, to the hobby and do it in a way that is, is helpful and always looking to add new features to this tool. Um, you know, they're just, they're gonna be around for the long haul and they're, they're just good overall people. Um, so I would say that I believe Card Ladder has a free trial um, so check them out. It's $15 a month otherwise. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is use this, they're, they're what they, they've got five ladders that they use. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post a screenshot just kind of explaining each ladder so that way you can kind of go back to it if needed. Um, I'll go ahead, the, the ladder I'm using today is just ladder one. And like I said, there's five ladders. There are five different formulas is how they have these five different ladders. And these they're a lot smarter than me, okay? So this is, data that um, these are formulas that I would not have come up with. But like I said, I'm, I'm counting on people like this to bring me good information that I can use to potentially buy and sell. And they will tell you that, and they're, they're fantastic about this. This is not the, you know, the set way. Card Ladder is not you know, the one tool that you should have that you should use when making buying and selling decisions. It's just another data point. It's just another set of multipliers. It's just another set of formulas to use as you're kind of trying to navigate this hobby. Uh, I really love their transparency. Um, and so check it out. If you haven't already, um, you, you might've heard of it through other YouTube channels, but Card Ladder is, is the name of this tool. Um, and definitely check it out. Uh, they're adding new cards every day, a lot of new cards every day. It's just been a fun ride. Uh, they do have a My Collection feature so that you can track your, um, you can track your collection within so you can add your cards in and you can add your own multipliers if you want, if you don't want to necessarily use theirs. It's just very intuitive. The interface is, is awesome. Um, I can't say enough about it, and I just really like these guys. I'm excited to see this tool grow um, as they've just put, you know, they, they're really, they, they care about it, and, you know, there's nothing else you can really say. They just, they care a lot about it and advancing the hobby in a good way. All right, guys, to describe Ladder 1, the formula that they are using, so, and this is, this is the data that I'm showing. I'm using Ladder 1, and I've got the screenshot up, but I'll go ahead and read it. The ladder one ladder score, or simply score, this ranks cards according to their 14 day trend. The formula sums a card's one daily dollar change, two daily percentage change, and three transaction volume to produce the card's ladder score. The formula is last sale within the last 14 days minus first sale within the last 14 days divided by days elapsed plus last sale within the last 14 days minus the first sale within the last 14 days divided by the first sale divided by days elapsed plus quantity sold per day divided by 10. Like I said, 
people that are a lot smarter than me, but I love the fact that they're do they've got different ladders, they've got different uh, formulas going, and and in essence, it's showing you what cards are moving, where where's the transactions, the prices are are, are moving up and down. So. The ladder is not necessarily the card that you need to, you know, if it's number one on the ladder, that's not necessarily a card that you run out and buy. It's just giving you data points as to what's trending in the hobby, as to where how cards are moving up and down based on these various formulas. So it's just cool. However, however you slice it, it's just pretty cool how they've done it. And like I said, they've got five different scores, five different ladders. Number one, the ladder score. Number two, the Hall of Fame score. Number three, undervalued. Number four, price number five player and I've got like I said I got the screenshot there to kind of explain that for you um, so it gives you a good idea of, of what to expect and kind of how they're coming up with these values as, as you're looking at it on the side all right the first card on the ladder that we're looking at and like I said this is a couple days old this data so today's ladder looks different than the data that I'm talking about but the card is a 2017 optic hollow Jason Tatum in a PSA 10 this is his rookie card and another thing I like about this, they've got historical data. So they've got data that's going back years and years, not data that's going back just a couple of months or three months, six months, one year, it's going back years. So you can see where some of these cards are, are going, you know, from, from when they started. Um, one data point I've got on the screen, this, this will make you cry a little bit. January 3rd, 2020, th these were selling in the $114 range. Recent sales of this card are at $2,100. So for those of you that got in on Jason Tatum at the very beginning of the year or, or you know, end of last year, kind of like with a lot of these guys, um, you know, all the Luca folks, I'm sure there's people that made a boatload on Luca cards and Jason Tatum is really no different. Jason Tatum's cards were even less expensive than Luca's. So, I mean, if you got in on, on Jason Tatum, you're, you're sitting pretty now. So I thought that was really cool. I've got some screenshots up just to kind of show you, you know, the interface and, and how card ladder looks and shows it. There's quite a bit, there, there's a lot more um, as far as features go that I could give screenshots on um, and I'll do that in, in later videos. The second card I'm gonna talk about is a popular one among Patriots Tom Brady fans, the 2000 Playoff Contenders Tom Brady Rookie Ticket Auto. This is one of those grail cards if you're a, a Brady fan, Brady collector, and I understand why this thing is sweet. Um, but the one they've got on the ladder, it's a BGS 9 with an auto of a 10. Three years ago, this card was in the four dollars to $5,000 range, so already pretty pricey a few years back. Recent sales are in the $35,000 to $40,000 range. Thirty to I think thirty-seven dollars was, was the last sale, so not quite to forty. dollars I should say more thirty to thirty-seven. dollars uh, So pretty dramatic <laughs> turnaround over the last few years with, with this Tom Brady card. It's incredible. And then lastly, this is one, and I know um, I've been talking a lot about Optic and Mosaic insert cards. This would be one that falls in, but of course, this is a, it's a rare card and it's a rookie card of Zion. So we're talking some huge money being spent on this card, but this is the Genesis insert with 2019 Mosaic Basketball. So it's the 2019 Mosaic Zion Genesis. It's raw, it's not even graded, you, you guys. And this kind of shows too, in May when Mosaic was going nuts, people were buying uh, you know, mosaic at crazy prices. This card was, had had a sale, had sales of five thousand dollars. May fifth is what it shows. Recent sales have kind of come back down to earth a little bit, but still thirty three hundred dollars for a raw copy of of this Genesis Zion. Now we don't know the print run on these Genesis cards, but we anticipate it's fairly low just based on case uh, case breaks. I've also looked at blowout forum. Uh, post just to kind of get a feel that a lot they're great about just posting you know what they're seeing in breaks and what they're seeing out of packs for those that have bought in mass it's not an exact science of course but Genesis is a raw insert of it, or excuse me a rare insert it's very rare so um, but just kind of interesting to see how that card has moved around and it gives you ideas on you know which sets are moving you know and you see okay mosaic obviously it's a very popular set with basketball fans basketball card fans um, and this one is kind of that, that grail card within that set is that, that Zion Genesis. Uh, and just the, the pricing on it is amazing. So like I said, guys, this is kind of a cool card ladder offers a, a cool, something, a different twist uh, to the hobby and just a, a nice data tool that's growing. It's only getting better um, from what I've seen. I've just been impressed with it. It's a good price point. Uh, so if you haven't already, do the free trial, check it out, upload some cards to my collection. 
Uh, play, play around with the multipliers and see what you think. We'll, we'll be doing more videos on card ladder um, as, as we go on, but wanted to share some of these cards with you. And um, hope you all have a great weekend. If I don't see you again in another video, have an awesome weekend. Stay safe, and we will talk to you again soon. Thanks, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.